So this iceberg is one of the oldest icebergs in Antarctica, as well as being the largest at the moment. And it broke off the ice shelf in 1986. And then it remained grounded on a high point of the sea floor, quite close to where it broke off. And it stayed there for about 30 years since the, the mid 80s. And then in the recent years, so since around 2020, we first started to see it moving a little bit uh, and now it's uh, moving relatively quickly up the eastern side of the Antarctic Peninsula and out into the open ocean. So where it was grounded quite close to the continent, the ocean is very cold um, and it has moved around a little bit but um, I think it, it over time it's probably just thinned slightly and just got that little bit of extra buoyancy that's allowed it to lift off the ocean floor uh, and get pushed by the ocean currents. You know, an iceberg of this scale has potential to survive for quite a long time in the Southern Ocean, even though it's much warmer and it will start to melt more quickly. Um, it could still um, make its way reasonably far north up towards the South Africa, um, where it can disrupt shipping. Antarctica has been called the sleeping giant and it is being awoken by climate chaos. Antarctica sea ice is at an all-time low. New figures show that this September it was 1.5 million square kilometers smaller than the average for this time of year, an area roughly the size of Portugal, Spain, France and Germany together. What happens in Antarctica does not stay in Antarctica. And what happens thousands of miles away has a direct impact right here in Antarctica. We live in an interconnected world. Fossil fuel pollution is eating our planet and unleashing climate anarchy in Antarctica. The Southern Ocean has taken the majority of the heat from global warming.